Hi there. <clears throat> this is Paige with Stamp Girl Hair on YouTube and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm sharing with you the projects that I made for the pro collab new project stain paper. This is a collaboration I'm doing with my friend Deb who is Deb Hawks Crafty Cottage here on YouTube and I'll leave a link to her channel down below. So I've been working on <coughs> excuse me, this paper pad for the longest time. Craftsmith um, called Winter Hymnal. It started out with 48 sheets. Last month I was down to 22. Um, this month I'm down to 20. I only use two sheets from here. I've got <clears throat> quite a few left. Mostly single sheets, although there are two. There were originally two of each pattern. But then I have a ton of scraps and the projects I worked on for this time used mostly scraps and I still have quite a few quite a few left some good sized pieces just had a little bit <clears throat> taken off of it so I've got that um, <clears throat> I worked on a couple of little um, gift ideas this is a little um, Tea box. I saw the idea on YouTube, but it was taller, and I didn't like all that empty space in there, so I cut mine down to a shorter size. <clears throat> so my my size measures three and a quarter by three and three eighths, and then I think it's about an inch deep. And I used some <clears throat> Misty Moonlight cardstock from Stampin' Up! along with the pattern paper from here. Scraps, of course. And then each little pocket holds three tea bags. And then this is Misty Moonlight um, ribbon. So I have two of those. They're basically the same, just different patterns depending on the scraps that I found to fit. Then um, last month I said that I had some cards that weren't quite finished, and I still have some cards that aren't quite finished, but I did finish these two up. They're both the same, or very similar. They are a gatefold card, 6x6. Six six. This was a die that I had. I'm not sure where it was from, but I die cut it from some Stampin' Up! Um, foam adhesive sheets. I just glued some cardstock, or I just put cardstock on one sticky side of the sheet, die cut happy birthday, and then peeled off the sticky back that becomes a sticker and um, three dimensional. And then I just went over it with um, a Nouveau pen in glitter gloss. And then this belly band will just slide off. This opens up, <clears throat> this falls down, and then there's a place to write a message to the recipient. And these were some stamps, I believe, from My Favorite Things, and I just stamped them in Cajun Craze, die cut them, and then colored them in with some um, blends markers. So there's that one, and then there is this one. This belly band fits a little bit too snug. I hope it'll stretch out a little bit, but same idea. Folds down, place to write a message. And it can use some further decorating. You can go as crazy as you want with the decorating. Right now I'm just leaving them like that. And then the final project that I have to share with you is this box right here. So what I did is I took a, a cracker box and I just cut off the flaps on the top and the bottom and one of the sides to make a folder. I'm keeping it closed with magnets under here and under here. And then I just covered the front 
and back with pattern paper. This was one of the cut aparts from the paper collection. It says there is beauty all around you and I just um, matted it with some light cardstock. This was a scrap of the pattern paper. This was one of the sheets that had a big sentiment at the bottom. It says there's nothing little about the light you shine and it fit on here just perfect so I just trimmed it down a little bit um, to fit. The box I made <clears throat> out of cardstock. Here's another cut apart that I put inside. The box is made out of cardstock and then I um, layered the sides with another scrap, larger scrap of paper. And then for the box bottom I just reinforced the four sides with strips of cardstock just to make it a little bit sturdier. And then the inside was covered with um, pattern paper. I used one scrap and then part of another um, full-size sheet because I think this measures six and a half and so one 12 by 12 wasn't wide enough to get both sides covered. But anyway, I thought it made a nice nice gift box and different things will fit inside and there's the front and back and there you have it. So I've got a, a gift box, some little tea boxes and a couple of birthday cards to share with you. I still have some cards that I made earlier that are not finished so hopefully next month you'll see those and I do have quite a bit of paper left so I better get going. I'd like to thank you for joining me and now I'm off to create.